No matter where we go, trouble will find us. Just ask the community of Highland Parks, Illinois, the once safe community of Highland Parks, Illinois, who all they wanted to do was celebrate the 4th of July earlier this week when their parade, their celebration was turned into a nightmare as a gunman opened fire and, and killed and, and wounded so many. Yes, trouble will find us, whether big or small. How should we respond? Today's psalm will help answer that question. Hey there, St. Paul family and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our psalm this week that we're going to be taking a look at is Psalm 41. Uh, so if you're not watching this live, I encourage you to, to go ahead and pause this video and look up Psalm 41 in your Bible or your Bible apps and read it for yourself. Our theme for this devotion and the words of the day come right out of verse 1. They are the, the day of trouble. Uh, Blessed is the one who considers the poor in the day of trouble. The Lord delivers him. We've said already we, we all experience those days of trouble. What kind of trouble was David experiencing as he is the author of this psalm? Well, David mentions two specific things in this psalm. Uh, first of all, that he is sick. He's dealing with what, some sort of illness, uh, the, uh, talking about the Lord sustains him on his sickbed, uh, restores to full health. So uh, some sort of sickness going on. Uh, second, uh, we find out that there are many uh, enemies uh, who are against him. He even goes specifically to talk about a, a friend uh, who has betrayed him. So those are the sorts of trouble, troubles that David is experiencing in this psalm. But we know that, that David's life was, was full of of trouble, just like our own lives. Again, big or small, trouble will find us. How do we respond to it? Well, how does David respond to it? Well, we see uh, three ways that David responds to trouble in this psalm. And, and first of all, the first thing David does is that he confesses his own sin. <laughs> uh, Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Now, this isn't some sort of one-to-one, uh, -one, right? Uh, I, trouble has happened to me, therefore I must have done something wrong, something specific that God is punishing me for. No, uh, this is a, a recognition that, uh, you know, that da David is a sinner. I am a, a sinner. And, and trouble in this world is a result of, of sin and, and brokenness. And so David first, instead of pointing fingers elsewhere, uh, putting the blame on somebody else, he recognizes his own sinfulness and confesses it before God. This is not some uh, self-righteous pleading uh, that David engages in. Uh, and is also asking for uh, for God to be gracious to him, recognizing that that anything good that he has is a gift from God alone, nothing that he deserves. Right. So that's uh, the first step: is confess your own sin in the day of trouble. And second, David cries out for help. He recognizes that there are many foes and enemies lined up against him. As you read uh, verses 5 through 9, uh, we hear about that. A deadly thing is poured out on him. He will not rise again. Realize this is what his enemies are saying about him as they plot against him. Even his own friend, uh, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. And so he cries out, but you, O Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up that I might repay them. Right? So he cries out for help uh, to God, recognizing that he cannot deal with this trouble on his own. He needs God's grace, God's mercy, God's help in his day of trouble. And then the third thing right, that, that David does here is that he puts his trust in God. After calling upon God, uh, he trusts that God will listen, 
that God will respond, that God will rescue and deliver him. Right? By this I know that you delight in me. My enemy will not shout in triumph over me. You have upheld me. You have set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He expresses his confidence in God, uh, that God will hear and deliver him. And you and I can have that same sort of confidence. And our confidence and trust is in Jesus, who forgives our sins, who heals our diseases, who rescues and delivers us in our day of trouble and from, from all of our enemies. For Jesus himself experienced his own day of trouble. Yes, trouble found even Jesus as he came to this earth. Uh, and, and, and he accepted this trouble gladly as he took upon himself all of the sin, uh, all of the burdens, the sadness, the sickness of this world upon himself on the cross. And we know that, that Jesus even fulfills the words here uh, when David talks about his, his betrayer. Right? Jesus quotes this psalm in John 13 when he speaks about Judas Iscariot, right? the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. That happened to Jesus. And verse 8, a deadly thing is poured out on him. God's wrath was poured out on Jesus on the cross and put him to death there on that Good Friday, Jesus' day of trouble. But where the enemy says he will not rise again from where he lies. We know that God raised Jesus from the dead. Uh, and through his resurrection, he has defeated all of our enemies. We can put our trust in him and call upon him in the day of our trouble, knowing that he will deliver us. Maybe not immediately, maybe not even in this life. But when Jesus returns, he will raise the dead. He will renew all of creation. And all of our troubles will be over. For our time of, of prayer and, and meditation in song, I want to bring to your attention a, a song we don't we don't sing too often. Uh, but we actually have a song uh, when when we have terrible incidents like what happened in Highland Park, Illinois, with the shooting. Uh, there's a hymn called "When Aimless Violence Takes Those We Love." It's found in the Lutheran Service Book number 764, and I've included a link uh, to a version of this song uh, on YouTube. I encourage you to check that out and listen to it. But it only includes verses one, three, and four, at least in our hymnal, and so. For our time of prayer, uh, I want to, to read uh, verse 5 as our prayer today. Through long, grief-darkened days, help us, dear Lord, to trust your grace for courage to endure, to rest our souls in your supporting love, and find our hope within your mercy sure. Amen. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.